Well, it's week five of the LCS with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I am joined right now by Giotto to talk about Team Liquid's loss against CLG just now. Uh, so I was just interviewing Palafox, and Giotto, he was saying that he thought that the draft from Team Liquid was hot dog. Would you agree that it was hot dog? What does it mean, hot dog? I asked him that same question, uh, and it turns out that hot dog means not good. It's like dog water. It's like hot dog water, and then you can either go to hot dog or dog water, apparently. Uh, I mean, I think I think it was okay, based on the assumptions that we have from, from them. Uh, I thought that he played really well on the Azir, which we weren't really expecting that we'll have a, a good game or a better game on that than... Uh, than some other champions. I think that they don't have answers to Draven, so it's very easy for us to, to blind pick it there. Uh, and he was first timing Poppy with no solo queues or competitive games on it. I mean, to be fair, he was really terrible on Poppy anyway. So that one at least was correct, but I think his Azir played uh, went really well. Um, but I looked, I looked much more to, to gameplay on, on this game. I think the only thing that we can change in draft was maybe instead of Wukong pick Viego when they already showed the Poppy. Um, but when we are basing 20 seconds before the second Drake spawn on all our spikes, when on the Nash fight we play like just running it into the into the MF ulti, um, when Lissandra just had a really good flank, it's it's just really hard to win. But we should never lose that game from a position of 2k behind like we were. We also on the first gank bot stole the kill of Draven with Wukong, so there was like so many things. But I think on draft the only thing that I'll maybe change is Either Viego or instead of Lissandra maybe picking TF when we already have the Wukong. I think bot and top matchups are, are really favorable for us. Okay. So it, you feel like it was more just it came down to the gameplay and there were some tweaks on draft, but I mean, mostly there's, game. There's obviously a mix of both, right? And yeah. you can always say that uh, that you can that you can optimize both. Um, but uh, but I think yeah, it, it just it just has both yeah. both of them. How how is the team doing from like a morale standpoint and how are you doing because team liquid's in a really interesting situation where i mean we'll see how the hunter t game goes today but going in today you guys are tied for second mm -hmm. which is by no means a bad place and yet it still feels like team liquid still isn't living up to what yeah. people think they should be so how are you how are you guys looking at this internally um i mean it's it's obviously not a good spot even if even if we stay in second place or whatever the fact that we already have four losses in the split, it's 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 not good. It's not where we want to be. Um, I think this game hits hits a, a bit a bit harder um, because we we were in positions that we should not we should never lose the game. Um, but I mean, we'll see. We usually, like this is just how competition goes. We just even if we are on a on a down in terms of morale, um, we just have to, to find solutions and, and make it work. Um, we are in a very similar spot that EG was last split and, and they won the split. So obviously we will never lose hope that, that we can win. We know that um, uh, we are in a position to, to, to win the split, but right now it's obviously we can't uh, continue on this trend and we need to keep applying, keep applying changes and keep looking for solutions. Well, I want to I want to ask you about CLG specifically since you guys just played against them. I think there's been a lot of questions about whether or not CLG is a good team or they're bad and they're just kind of winning games. Like, what do you think of CLG as a team, especially having just played them? Um, I think they have a. I think they they early on they had really a really good success with uh, some of some of their picks they were probably the first team picking Seraphine that gave them uh, uh, some some boost uh, I think that Palafox is pretty good uh, I think they have a couple of good individual players I, I think that their jungle and top are are the I guess the weak point of um, of that team but I think that their bot lane and the mid laner are, are playing pretty well and now that they are uh, shifting towards playing more around uh, their bot lane than, than Dokla um, I think that they can find some success, but just like FlyQuest on last year, I think it's a limited uh, team. But obviously, they are getting like really good results, and I, for sure, they are doing some stuff right. Uh, but they are probably just going to be on around that uh, fifth, uh, fifth, sixth spot. I think they are very close to guarantee playoffs already as well, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's obviously very big, very big uh, stuff for them. Uh, you know. 
what speaking more broadly about the league, especially since we're after the first round robin, do you think a lot of these teams are fairly close? I mean, it it feels like you know CLG's playing better than people expect. Mm -hmm. FlyQuest maybe playing better than people expect. TSM we'll see, but it does seem like the new roster they put together is is showing better signs than their previous one. So when you look at this league, I don't know if you're like, oh, this is a two or three team league, or if you think like, oh, actually we've got like a good top five. Where, what do you think? Uh, I think that EG is pretty good. I think they are clearly number one right now. I honestly think everyone else is bad okay. more than anything. And I think that TSM and Immortals are terrible. Okay. I think that kind of, I would divide it on three tiers uh, where I think that after EG, it's just that everyone, everyone, including us, is just is just bad right now. Okay. Uh, I don't think That's two tiers, three tiers, because then there's like the really worst bad. and bad. Okay, okay. With uh, I think TSM and Immortals are kind of in that tier, and Dig is actually like Dig is kind of in the limbo. Yeah. Between the the really bad and bad, I guess that's kind of like how how I how I would put it, but between the uh, I guess like the the big group of bad teams. Um, I think that, yeah, everyone's probably like uh, uh, close, which is depressing, at yeah. least for us. That's one of the things that frustrates us the most, or frustrates me the most, is that how can we be close with, with this team and not necessarily um, just fighting with, with EG for, for the top spots. And yeah, that's obviously disappointment for the fans, but it's also a big disappointment for us. Does it, does it feel bad at all to see where Immortal ha Immortals have fallen to since you've left? Uh, I mean, it's just another team. Okay. It doesn't have any any meaning. I mean, you have some friends over there, right? So yeah, I have some friends in other teams too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not like I'm also friends with tactic with people from TSM, Tactical yeah. and Jack, and obviously like some 100 thieves with Mithy that I worked before. It's not like uh, now on on uh, IMT. It's also only revenge, I guess, yeah. from from at least the previous roster that I coached. So it's just just another team. All right, very good. You're sneaking away from me in this camera angle, so I will... No, it's just the sun. It's the sun? Yeah. You, but you're moving towards the sun. Because you're putting the microphone straight into my mouth, Travis. Yeah, that's how microphones work. Anyway, is there anything that you would like to say to any of the fans out there? Just that, uh, obviously, we understand your disappointment and that we are as disappointed or more than, than you guys are. Um, we'll keep working to find solutions, and we still have the belief, especially of what EG did last split, that... Uh, we can find it, and we already saw this roster clicking, and now we are just being inconsistent, and also inconsistent where those inconsistencies happen. Uh, so we just need to to make sure that we keep working hard. We double down on on the things that worked on that worked for us in in the past, and hopefully we can uh, start a upward trending. Thank you so much for the interview, Thank Kyoto. You, uh, for everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. Hello. I'm out front of the LCS. I'm sitting down because it's a hot day in Los Angeles and uh, I need to keep cool. And you know what else needs to be cool? Your computer, which is why you should check out Alienware because they've got some of the best cooling tech in the biz for both desktops and notebooks so that your computer can stay cool while you're staying cool by having an Alienware, which is also cool, and watching this content that is also cool. And you ever just say a word so often, oh, so many times that it starts to lose, uh, there's like a like significance, it's like starts to sound weird in your mouth, and like, there's a word for that, and I, um, anyway, there's a link in the description below. Check it out.